Hi guys, welcome back to my green screen tutorial series. Um, after the last one, I got asked what to do now once you'd removed your green screen and how to input a background onto your photo. So I'm just going to show you the basics of how to do that today. Um, so I've got here um, a picture that I've taken in Second Life and I've removed the background. If you're not sure how to do that, there is a tutorial before this that will guide you through that. Um, so have a look on my YouTube channel for that and you'll find it there. So after I've removed a background, the first thing that I normally do, I'm going to go up to the top menu bar and click Layer, New, and then select Layer. And that should appear then on your right hand side. You'll see you've got two boxes. Layer 0 is our picture. And if I, if you press the little I, that'll turn that layer off. So my characters will disappear. If I click it, you'll turn that back on. So at the moment, layer 1 has nothing on it. I'm just going to hold my mouse over it, hold down the left mouse button and drag it underneath. Um, the other layer so that I've got my characters on on the top layer and then all I'm going to do first of all is fill it with a colour now I normally find that filling it with black can be quite good because what we want to do first of all is just check that um, the green removing the green screen has worked as well as we wanted it to um, so we're just going to check we can't see any little bits of green left so on your um, box that you've just made like so on my screen it's called layer one what I'm going to do it's the empty it's the empty layer what I'm going to do is just fill it with a color so to do that on your left hand side where you've got your two color swatches uh, click the top one if it's not already black and um, make sure you get it to black you can do that by typing three zeros in this box here and that will set it to pure black and then once i've done that i'm going to hold down alt on my keyboard and press backspace and that will fill the layer in okay then what i'm going to do is just switch to my character layer so i'm going to click on those and my characters and i'm going to just zoom in using you can see this box here uh, will zoom in and out of your photo so i'm going to get right in there and i'm just going to use the um, scroll bars just to have a look and as you can see there's a little bit of green still in my hair on this shot so i'm just gonna go and um, use the the green screen remover just as i have i'm going to make this smaller because it's only tiny areas that we need to do and to move the tricky bits i'm just going to click on my green swatch and select a dark tone and then uh, if you can see that it's just taking out more of that green oh that's a little bit strong there as you can see it's just taken a taken away a little bit of hair so i'm just going to hold down control and then press z and that will take it back to where it was i'm just going to move the tolerance down to around which is at the top to around 95 percent and hopefully it should stop it taking away the hair it can be a little bit tricky okay my tolerance needs to go back up slightly in fact let's just try back at 100 because it's not catching these bits here okay that's better okay, okay. Uh, that looks fine to me now. I'm just going to scroll across to my other character. Uh, oh, no, that's too strong. Uh, and actually, I think I'm just going to leave that one as it is. Because uh, you won't see it eventually. Okay. So, we've got rid of even the smallest bits of green now. So, uh, what I'm going to do is just delete that 
colour layer that we made, the black layer, I'm just going to right click on it and then choose delete layer. We just use that to highlight the bits of green that we had left. Yes. Okay, so now we want to add um, our real background. So first of all, choose a photo you like, have one, choose one, um, I make sure they're royalty free um, and free to use as well, um, just to make sure we keep inside any copyright laws. So I found one here on my desktop. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click it and drag it down to my Photoshop icon and then I'm going to bring it up right into the top bar just next to where you've got all the commands file edit image and then just release my mouse button and that will bring that in there. If you get stuck doing it this way there is another way you can bring an image in. We're going to do file, open and then click your image and that will do exactly the same. Okay. So, once you've got your image in, what you need to do, if it's got a padlock on it, like mine has in the right hand corner here, you can see a padlock, we're going to right click it and select layer from background. And that just means you're unlocking the picture so you can use and work on it. Once you've done that and the padlock's disappeared, you're going to hold down control and hit A for all and you'll get a white line around your picture which means we've selected the whole thing so once we've got that you're then going to hit down control again and hit c which will copy the picture your two tags at the top here you've got one for your picture and one for your characters so flip back to your characters and hit control again and this time v and that will paste now we need this behind so we're just going to move it down so put our make sure our characters are on the top layer and you can see our photo has gone in there then what i'm going to do it needs a bit of resizing so at this stage um, it's important actually i forgot to mention you should always find an image as big as you possibly can um, because when we stretch it we lose quality but it should be uh, this size should be okay for this photo so what i'm going to do on my background layer just make sure i've got that selected i'm going to hit Control and t and what that does it allows us to stretch and edit um, the photo so once I've done that, you'll notice you've got little squares and if you hold those, you can do all sorts of stretching with your photo. But I wouldn't suggest doing that freehand. Um, at the top, you can click the tick to accept the changes or the cancel button and that'll take it back to what you did originally. I'm going to click cancel because there's an easier way to stretch. So I'm going to hold down Control and T. Then I'm going to hit down Shift and I'm going to ma left mouse click one of the corner squares. And what that does, holding Shift, it makes all the dimensions grow so you keep the original proportions of the pictures. Okay, and I'm going to tick that because that looks decent enough to me. Um, if you want to move it around, you can click in your left menu bar where all your tools are. You can click the little arrow right at the top and you can see you can move your photo and position it just how you want. But to me, uh, for this demonstration, that looks okay. The next thing I'm going to do with this, um, I need to make sure my characters are pretty much the same darkness and colour scheme as my picture. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the layer for my characters and I can just turn it off and back on to check I'm on the right one. Then I'm going to, right at the very bottom in this section of your screen, you've got some more tools. So if you click on the one that's like a circle, one half black, one half white, you've got some options here. And I'm going to choose, first of all, I'm going to do hue and saturation. 
now what this does oh sorry and then you're gonna once you've got that up right click it'll, you'll see it's made a new layer right click on it and click create clipping mask so what that's telling it to do your hue and saturation layer is only now going to affect your layer with our people in it because we've created a mask and what that does it's telling it to only add the changes to our layer with the people on it okay and um, so what and what you'll see here your lightness and darkness I can make my characters go darker and lighter I can I'm just gonna put that back to zero you can really intensify the color or make the colours much weaker so eventually that'll go black and white if you take that down or bright orange if you turn it up um, and here we'll change colour so you want to be really careful what you're using I'm not going to be using this top bar for this picture and um, usually I don't use it to edit pics very much so if you've had a play about with it and you want to put it back to how it was originally just change all the values in these boxes to zero and that will give you back your original picture but for this one I am going to darken it slightly um, and I'm going to take a little bit of saturation out uh, I think I'll leave it about there okay and then you can just click this X and turn that off if you need to get that back up or you want to play and change a little bit further where the circle is here on the layer just double click and that'll pop back up for you to play with again the next thing i'm going to do at the bottom again i'm going to add uh, click it again and this time i'm going to select color balance and again i'm going to create a clipping mask this is going to skip the hue and saturation and it's going to affect our layer again so and um, you can see because my image is quite blue I'm just going to give them if I push it gently towards cyan it gives them a blue tint so you the kind of uh, a bit more um, at home with the background if I do it with this blue as well obviously if you drag it right up it's going to do it far too much so it's just really subtle difference it really subtle uh, work when you're using these sliders I'm going to set this bottom one back to zero because uh, it's the cyan color that's working for me here obviously if your background was red you'd move it towards red if it was pink you'd move it towards the magenta green up there and so on just like with the other one to put it back to normal you're just going to type zero into each box and um, that I was happy with the cyan it was at plus 44 oh sorry minus 44 yeah so to go one way it's minus the opposite way it's plus so just take note of that as you're playing around um, and that is, 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 is the basics of putting a picture behind your green screen and I can now start editing this um, I will do another tutorial using some brushes that I've got and I'm going to put some flames and things in there and just make it come to life a little bit so I'll show I'll talk through some steps on how I do that but that is your basic of editing a photo into um, sorry putting a background into your green screen work i hope you find that helpful any questions please do give me a shout and look out for the next video thanks guys bye